in today's world, emerging markets uh, play a very important role. Um, if you look at just today's world economy, more than 50% of world's GDP uh, is coming from emerging markets uh, if you adjust for purchasing power parity. So this conference uh, brings together um, industry experts who have experience uh, in emerging markets. It, it brings together academic uh, researchers who have been studying emerging markets from different vantage points as well as it brings some of our students who are interested in have experience in or are interested in working in emerging markets together um, to discuss and um, enlighten each other about their experiences uh, operating in emerging markets. If, if one looks at um, the number of people that are becoming quote unquote middle class, and of course there's def different definitions of what middle class is, it's all relative. Um, there's so much potential there that to ignore it, at least in my mind, is, is silly. There is a growing, what I call consuming class as opposed to a middle class um, in China. And um, as that class goes, there is a tremendous demand for product um, within China. So the logistics challenges um, and risks are twofold. Um, there is actually getting product uh, to Chinese uh, in that consuming class throughout China and also exporting uh, product from that's manufactured in the inside of China outside to Western markets. Working in emerging markets is, is really interesting. I find it very challenging and actually a lot of fun. Uh, be because of how dynamic it is working in the emerging markets. Some of the challenges we run into there are things like the physical infrastructure. So myself and my team, we're mostly working in the area of supply chain. And with the supply chain, you know, we need to be able to move the product from wherever it's at to wherever the customers are. And we started fairly naive and we, we knew that there was a big macro opportunity in China. I don't think we fully appreciated at the time, although we were quickly made aware of some of the, the, the micro challenges of executing a strategy in China. And amongst the many challenges in that category, I would, I would probably put cultural understanding at the top. Through these discussions and through these uh, mutual exchange of information and ideas, they will cross-fertilize each other um, in terms of um, innovations and opportunities that, that are there in, in emerging markets but also they will learn from maybe the mistakes uh, uh, that some of the companies that have gone into emerging markets and have found that the, their ride has not been as successful as they had hoped in the first place and how they've corrected course over time to be more successful. In most cases, emerging markets are present greater risk. They typically fall in the lower half of the corruption perception index. And therefore, they just by the nature of them being emerging markets, they do present greater risk. You have risk in every market. Um, anybody who thinks that they could invest in the United States and that's absolutely safe, would, would be wrong. It is a risky venture. Doing business is obviously fraught with many risks. I mean, there are environmental risks, there are political risks, there are all kinds of, of you know, intellectual property risks, technology risks. On the other hand, from my perspective, the biggest risk is not being there. If you're not willing to go with the flow, if you're not willing to let bygones be bygones, you'll be very frustrated very, very quickly. If you go there to enjoy those experiences and to learn from them and then to adapt to them, you'll have a lot of successes. You have to learn to not get uh, too frustrated with the cultural differences. You have to see some things as amusing and let things roll off your shoulder. Um, for some of us that can be hard, but it is fascinating. I have a, I have a wonderful job. The new generation of leaders that are coming out of the business schools of today, including the one right here at UNC, it's really important for them to have a global perspective on business and not just a country perspective. And it doesn't matter whether it would be a Western European perspective, a U.S. perspective, or a Japanese perspective. We need to have a global perspective now. The major markets, uh, they're a large, but there's no growth there. So if companies are going to grow their top line, much less their bottom line, they have to uh, deal with emerging markets. And that's where the growth is. Uh, they, they can actually raise the quality of life, the living standard, the economic standards of uh, this great portion of the world. We think 
that um, the benefit is all to the developing countries, perhaps, in the sense that you know we're transferring knowledge of business here to developing countries. But quite frankly, a lot of the the knowledge is, is coming in a reverse sense, and, and the things that we're doing in developing our products and developing logistics capabilities and strategies are helping for the development of Western products as well for markets here, whether it's you know cheaper, you know, healthcare products, things like that. So so you know it's very important to have this global perspective. When you walk into an office in China or you walk into an office in Brazil, you have to know how to partner, you have to know how to be a collaborative partner, and you're not going to have all of the answers or be able to solve all of the business challenges on your own. So it's really important to develop an understanding and a sensitivity to the different ways that people work. That the world is getting smaller every day. Um, you know, when I graduated from Keenan Flagler in 2000, I had no idea that I would be engaged in something in the emerging markets in my career and six years later I was and I have been since and I expect to be the rest of my career. So the world is getting smaller from an investment standpoint. Uh, I think large institutions in particular, they realize that they can't, they can't stay in just the United States or Europe. The, the, the rest of the world is too big to ignore.